Hey there, I'm back again, and this time with um, Michael's Haul. I headed over to Michael's with the intent of finding the new washi tape that is all dogs, and um, to look at the new stamps that they had. So I went over, and the two items that I wanted were both out of stock. Everything else was filled, and the only blank hook on the end cap with the $10 washi was the dog spot. So they're supposed to get a new shipment in, or, well, two are shipping in on Friday. And um, they said they wouldn't probably have them out till Saturday to give them a call on Saturday, and that they would hold that and the Dog Talk by Tim Holtz uh, stamp and die set. So let's keep... Her fingers crossed that they have them, but I'm torn because if I call and have them hold them, I'm not sure if they'll hold them to Sunday, and I was hoping to see if next week's sale, they were going to have some charms on sale, because I'm looking for a few specific things, and I don't want to go both Saturday and Sunday, because you know it'll just cost me more money. Anyways, I picked up a few things. Um, so all their... Hot Buy paper pads were $6, so they weren't the best deal, but they had like six left, and they were wiped clean, because I just found out they're going to be getting new ones. So I picked up the C'est La Vie um, Paris theme, and I know you guys have all seen this, and I thought this would be cute for a traveler's notebook, or um, a pocket letter as well, because you know that's what I'm into these days. So I got that, and then I picked up, oop, I should really have a piece of paper. Sorry, guys. Let's try that again. There we go. This cute little sticker set from Recollections. I thought that was adorable. And, of course, I couldn't find any washi um, in the $10 spot that was Paris theme. So I ended up going with this tube and I thought that was cute and then I found an end cap of the craftsmith and I did find um, this particular washi I think Oop, nope can't see it on the back so I picked up that then let's see sticking with the whole Paris travel theme I picked up this in the clearance aisle I thought this was cute I did open it, but I have a feeling that it has pockets maybe? I'm not sure. Ah! Okay, paper cut. Mm. Hazard of our hobby. Yes, I was hoping it had um, pockets because I'd like to deconstruct this to actually make one and then make these for my traveler's notebook. At least that's the plan. Although this is really, really cute. Mm. And let's see, what else did I pick up? Oh, they also had some Tim Holtz items clearanced. And so sticking with the Paris theme, I picked up this stamp die and embossing folder set. I don't know if I have this embossing folder or not. If I do, I think I will uh, send it out in some happy mail. So I picked up that. I picked up these cute little palm trees. They were 44 cents. I couldn't pass them up. Thought they were adorable. They were even cheaper than the ones at Tuesday morning. And I can't pass up a good deal. Uh, let's see. Oh, this was one of the new washies that they had. And I thought it was absolutely adorable. So I picked that one up. And, oh, this was another clearance washi. I have been eyeing this up for the longest time, and it was down to $4.49, so I picked it up, and I love the blues. Let's see, uh, some boring stuff. I needed some lobster claws, no, not <laughs> lobster claws, lobster clasps, ooh, it's getting late here, um, in gold and silver, so I picked up these, and they had a coupon for 40% off all the um, bead makings, is that what they call them? Bead findings, maybe? Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. So I picked up those. Then, two of the very exciting things 
that I got. Well, it's more than two, but two. Um, oh, never mind. Anyways, I picked up this uh, new Tim Holtz. I think it's new. It was new to my store with the butterflies and has a beautiful saying. And then it has the stencil in the background. And I absolutely love the top one and thought that would be neat for some mixed media and for some of my journals. And then it was buy one, get one 50% off, which is a lousy deal because it's only 25%. But they only have one of like each stamp set. And I don't know if they do that so that you buy it no matter what. I don't know. Might be a, a ploy. But it worked on me. And so they had this, what is it called? Crazy chat? No. Things talk. And um, I have the crazy cats, the little set, and the little crazy birds set. Sorry for the glare, guys. And I thought this would be perfect. And so I scooped it up. And then I turned around to look for some tea distress ink, and tea dye, excuse me, distress ink, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere. And lo and behold, do I find these beauties. Oh my goodness. Yep. Michaels has the oxide inks because I was going to wait and pick these up at the expo at the end of the month but I can now get them with coupons. So that's awesome. And now I can save my money for some more lawn fawn stamps. Um, so that's my plan anyways. So this was my goodie haul. Um, a lot of stuff that I wasn't planning on getting. I was only going in for two things. I ended up being there an hour and a half. Um, but yeah, and I'm going back in a couple days. So hopefully I will be able to be good and only get a couple of things, but you know I'm going to get another pack of this because, um, yeah, I'm going to take somebody with me with an extra coupon so we can get a couple. And the other thing I wanted to show you is another project share. So, you know I'm on a traveler's notebook kick. Well, I had bought this huge piece of faux black leather at Hobby Lobby. And I thought, I'm going to try and make a cover. And I was really intimidated by it. And I just figured, no, it's not going to work. I'm not going to be able to do it. And so late last night, I'm like, I'm cutting into this sucker. And I did. And so I made a third or fourth. I don't even know. I'm losing count. Um, Traveler's Notebook. And it's, it's thin. It's not like the name brand, beautiful leather um, traveler's notebooks that I have seen on YouTube. But for $2.24, and I still have a boatload of it left over, I think it's pretty darn good. So that is my oops, cover. And then I did, I'll tell you what, this, as pretty as this gold washi is, it does not stick. I'm not happy with that. Um, mixed media paper. I just did a little bit of embellishing. That's my craft. This is my graph. And then this is my white. And as you can see, I goofed when I cut my paper because I should have made sure that this was going the right way. But I'm keeping it. So it doesn't matter. And I think I may give away my other two. So that's it for me. Thanks so much for sticking with me through this kind of rambling uh, video. I hope everybody is getting some crafting time in. And I hope I'll be able to continue with the videos on a regular basis. So have a great night, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.